What's up guys, it's Jason, this is Riley, and of course we're back for another Mask Morgan. Guess what? This is one of Riley's, oh wait, it's not one it's of not. Riley's. It's uh, a first. <laughs> it's one of my, my mask. I'm so happy, man. So um, what are we looking at today? We're looking at a Dom Post Sargoth Cobra, right? One of my favorite uh, designs from uh, the Dom Post, uh, what, the 900 line, I believe, yeah, right? 1977. Yeah, so 1977, uh, this bad boy was starting to be produced, right? And yeah. then once again, I know a little bit about this thing, um, not as much as this guy, right? This is the mask nerd, this guy, he knows everything about this stuff. So, But um, this is something that I've had in my collection for a couple years here, and, uh, and now I get to finally check it out. So what do you know about this thing, Riley? All right, so this fella was sculpted in 1977 by Chris Wallace. And Chris Wallace went on to design Mogwise for Gremlins. Oh, and he shit. had a pretty cool FX career. Yeah. And uh, this fellow was produced through 1985. And you'll see other paint variants of it. This one was actually a custom paint job done by Rob and Kathy Tharp, yeah. original employees at Dom Post Studios. Yeah, I think that they have the mold. I don't know if they have the mold or whatever, but this is a modern pull. Yeah, so this is a modern pull from a master mold, and Rob and Kathy Tharp, when Dom Post was liquidated, actually bought, I think, I'm not going to put an exact number, but they bought a large amount of molds from Dom Post. Yeah. And they continued making them through custom work, and uh, they recently retired, actually. Did they? Yeah. But they had a good run. They made some incredible pieces. Yeah. And, uh, I mean... <laughs> We have something to look at today. You I'm, know? I'm so stoked I got this. And I, I bought this from uh, Rudy from uh, Crimson uh, Ghost Mask Room. If you guys, I'm sure most of you mask nerds out there know about him and whatnot. So he had it and I saw it and uh, he was giving it up. And this is this has a glow in the dark paint, to yeah. it, right? So there wasn't a, a lot of these uh, when they repop these things. I said repop, but we're just. You know, modern pool. Modern pool. There yeah, you yeah. go. It makes it sounds cooler. Um, <laughs> they didn't do a lot of the glow in the dark paints, but um, this bad boy glows, and uh, it doesn't glow for long. That's one thing I noticed last night. I, I threw it out in the light, put it. I mean, it was in the light all day, and then put it out. It's got about ten minute glow life, <laughs> and yeah. then it goes away. But it doesn't matter to me. I really dig this man, and I've always looked at this. If you guys look at the profile of this guy, it's like, how would you get? Uh, this thing over your head. Now look, this thing is a this thing's pulled from, like I said, a, a master mold, but it wasn't built for wear. Because normally you'd have a slit up the back yeah. right here, right, and uh, so you can open it up and put it on. And I think the eye holes were like right inside yeah. the mouth, Little right? Slits inside of the mouth were on the original seventy-seven through eighty-five copies. Right. So. Yeah. So, but it was kind of cool because I I love the fangs. I'm always wondering, like you know, from a guy who kind of dabbles in making masks and painting masks. It's like when they pull, how do they get these? Are these I wonder if these things are actually put in afterwards because I don't know I how. they're solid latex. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know if they're, yeah, it could, it could be either or. I couldn't tell you. It, that, it looks like a nightmare to be able to pull this thing out yeah. and, and all that stuff. But this is a foam filled model, right? Yeah. So in other words, this is made latex, yes, but it's also filled with foam um, for preservation, right? Yeah. So this mask will last a good long while. Yeah, you can see. Oh, I love foam-filled masks. <laughs> Dude, it's the best. All day yesterday, he wouldn't shut up about this thing. But, <laughs> but yeah, so this is, they, they fill it with foam. They put a little, what is it, like a poster tube down here, yeah, right? Just so it, it, can, it can stand and whatnot. And uh, what a really fun piece, man. Yeah. And it's a great piece to my collection. I'm very happy. What else do you know about this thing, man? So, so this mask was also seen, if you guys are fans of Season of the Witch like I am, mm. In Connell Cochran's Hall of Fame, you'll see the green 77 paint variant of this fella sitting that is on the true. shelf, along yeah. with some other classics like 82 Phantom, DK Skull. Yep. Bunch of cool masks on that shelf. So definitely, man. Yeah. So, and it, it also appeared in a, in a in a pretty famous magazine. Yeah. <laughs> if you ever snoop through your uncle's Playboy magazines, uh, specifically in October of 1979, mm. there is actually a story in the Playboy magazine called Snakehead and it's about a woman who put on this mask and her whole life changed and she didn't want to take it off and it it wasn't an x-rated story yeah but it would be a little PG-13 for you <laughs> youngins out there 
right? And uh, <laughs> yeah, it's just a. Uh, it was pretty cool. So yeah, this yeah. thing's been in, 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 I mean, this design's been in Playboy yeah. and, and all that stuff. I just think it's a cool. It shows the range of Don Po's uh, studios and the kind of cool, wacky, crazy stuff that they would come up with. Yeah. Um, and if you know, I would love to be like at a production meeting or something like that, and they, yeah. and, and they bring up this this idea like, look, we want to do a cool Sargoth it's a snake giant cobra cobra head, and I'm like, fuck, sign me up, man. Let's do yeah. this, man. So pretty fun thing. Um, it's look when you, you know, I always tell you, I try to throw prices on here. There is a um, another uh, ma or pool or modern pool from a master cut. We saw, I think it was on eBay, and someone's asking like nine fifty for it. And I'm not yeah. saying that you're gonna they're gonna get nine fifty. Um, yeah, I didn't pay anything close to that. Tangent. I think they're reaching for the clouds on that one. Yeah. But I saw one recently, uh, the green one, yes. foam filled, and it sold for six hundred. Okay. So I would assume their value has gone up certainly since Rob and Kathy Tharp will probably not be producing these anymore. Yeah. And I used to have one of these and me and him paid about the same price for ours, but I sold mine off like an idiot because mine wasn't <laughs> foam filled like his. So there you go. Youngins. What am yeah. I supposed to do with these kids? I don't know. What to do. <laughs> You'll learn yeah. eventually, man. So there you guys go. A 1977 Don, well, 1977 Sargoth, but obviously a modern pool from the master mold. Uh, Custom paint by Rob Tharp. Yeah, well. which is cool, man, because yeah. like I said, he is, he's a lifelong employee of Don Post Studios, is, yeah. and he's probably painting every freaking mask there they have and all that stuff. So um, come by the shop. That's the beauty, right? Usually I tell you to go to Rigor Mortis Mask, and I'll tell you right now, go to Rigor Mortis Mask on Instagram and, and, and see his feed and check out Riley's feed and all that stuff. But if you want to see this mask uh, in its glory, uh, come down to Terra Trader and uh, we have this thing right here. And I keep it on display. I think it's in the uh, video room right now. Yeah. So, uh, you know, right, right, rightfully so. It should it's be in It's his home, yeah. It yeah. needs to be seen. <laughs> so, there you guys go. Uh, another Don Post gem and that I'm happy to be collected here. I have it at the store and uh, which we're going to touch on a, a, a few more here in the, uh, the following episode. Episodes. But Riley, thank you so much, man, of course. for what your your vast knowledge on this and actually educating me uh, a little bit more on something that I already owned, man. Mm -hmm. So uh, I didn't know about the Playboy article. Uh, I'm gonna have to go pick that issue up. Yeah, Snakehead, October 1979. Yeah, just, Try and find it. Just for uh, research purposes. I, yeah, I don't yeah. want to look at the rest Not of the Anything else. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, that's another Mask Morgue, and we're going to close the doors.